and we are rolling so today's guest invited over is miss khyati kandelwal khyati welcome to today's show hi amaya thank you so much for having me here i'm really excited to be here and you know probably talk about my journey and my experiences and i'm really looking looking forward to this conversation yeah me too so i'll just have a short introduction of khyati and as well as let her speak the opportunity afterwards so khyati is basically co-founder two wheeler and director of right on rent um, technologies private limited and she is also won many business pitch competitions as well as iit bombay 2021 eureka cup if i'm not wrong yes so that's uh, asia's biggest business plan competitions as well and from what i have researched about her social media handles she is passionate <laughs> and she is open to opportunities and challenge herself definitely yeah so thank you yeah. please please continue yeah sure so basically we'll be uh, breaking down the conversation into three four parts the conversation would be revolving around your entrepreneurship journey as well as your professional education and then i have some kind of doubts and questions which i'm sure share a lot of common basis with the audience as well as personally me definitely yeah so two wheeler is a startup uh, two wheeler uh, based company motorcycle based company so i guess it's uh, trying to give the one stop solution for buy and sell used bikes yeah so uh, do you would you like me to probably give you an introduction about you know yeah. who what we are who am i and you know what we're doing so i mean thank you so much amaya you know for the uh, introduction to you know quickly summarize i am khyati khandewal i am the co-founder and the chief strategy and investment officer for two wheeler two wheeler is a hybrid or a digital model as we call it popularly today for buying and selling of second hand two wheelers so currently we are based in pune we started 18 months ago that is september 2020 after the first lockdown with one showroom and very successfully we are up to three showrooms after 18 months and you know the future of this is we are not only going to be expanding in pune but also across maharashtra and pan india and very soon even hopefully uh, for global similar global markets as well yeah the whole vision the vision for the company is basically to be the one stop solution for everything two wheelers basically anything that you can think of you know throughout your bike bike journey right from buying to refurbishment to selling to post sales to accessories to financing to bike servicing to whatever that you can think of you know when it comes to bike your bike journey or your challenges you know that there is one platform you know you know an, an application where you know you can come and you know you can get all your doubts all your solutions for all your bike you know bike related mm-hmm. challenges so that is the vision and for the company where you know we're going to we want to be a home brand and very popularly wanna be called ghar ghar mein two wheeler you know okay. uh, so uh, this is the vision for the company this is a, to tell you a little bit about me i am 23 years old i started this company when my final semester of engineering i am a btech in electronics and telecommunications from cummins college of engineering pune and i am batch of 2020 that is popularly known as the covid batch the first <laughs> covid batch yeah. so in my final semester we were all logged in i think it was feb that you know we were all asked to stay at home and you know colleges had to shut because of you know the whole covid scenario and yeah. i remember that it was uh, november 2019 uh okay so to tell you a little bit about the team uh, i started this company with my father mr krishi khandelwal and my younger sister ms disha khandelwal you know father, my our father is the chief i mean you know he's the ceo of the company he's a maverick uh, in this industry for the last 30 years okay and he was the one who actually originally came up with this idea of two wheeler and my younger sister disha khandelwal she's the chief marketing officer for the company and um, she's also a student entrepreneur by the way she's also in her final year uh she's studying and also she's managing the business mm-hmm. uh so i'll tell you you know how did it all start i remember that it was i think february 2020 when we were all told you know 
go back home colleges were shut because you know covid scare had started happening yeah. and back in november 2019 when you know all the placements and everything was going on yeah. i knew that this was the time that probably i do not want to take a job i wanted to probably start something of my own or probably you know uh, pivot basically i did not want to get into engineering or anything tech, i mean you know it related consultancy firms it was not my cup of tea and i thought that you know i think i think this is the time that i wanted to explore so i did not sit for my placements i was preparing for my cfa level 1 chartered financial analyst examination level 1 that time and i was very interested in the public markets in the private markets in the entire ecosystem i used to study mm-hmm. fundamental analysis so i understood businesses and i come from a purely business family so i knew that you know it i knew that you know as the bolte na ki khoon mein business and dhanda hai so uh-huh. would you you know i used to think that you know this is this is my cup of tea and i would i wanted to venture into this you know always i thought that you know probably equity research or you know for those you know to get into you know stock market and not trading but you know actual value addition yeah. uh so that was my dream and that is the reason why i realized you know i prepare for cfa but because of those skills of financial management i started understanding how business models worked and then yeah. you know this whole entrepreneurship journey was coming up and i was very curious you know what is this entrepreneurship all about what yeah. does this really mean because you know it was a new upcoming thing exactly. and the startup ecosystem in india is booming right now i mean it's the best time to be in india and have your own startup because you know everybody is growing everywhere there is a startup so Definitely. what happened november 19 uh, our father uh, he came up with this concept but you know he was uh, he he's he's i think he needs late he's in his late 40s and he's like yaar main business kar raha hu but you know start up karne ke liye you know you need a team and i'll think yeah. about it but you know he always had this passion and desire and because of my expertise and in, in my experience of understanding business problems and you know entrepreneurship i realized that there was a very big gap you know there was a very big problem that was out there in the used two wheeler market okay that is you know trust issues stigma i mean hum yaar second hand two wheeler kyu kharidenge yaar kyunki quality achhi nahi hogi kya pata seller acha nahi hai mm-hmm. kya pata accident hogi bike ki so you know there were a lot of challenges and there were people who wanted to sell their bike and especially during covid you know because people were losing their jobs these people wanted to sell their bikes instantly but they couldn't find anyone aap sab jante hoge rolex mein kharida hoga becha hoga so there are a lot of fraud yeah. cases that happened so there was a real problem that was out there in the market where you know main was a uh, stigma problem and i realized that you know itna bada problem hai yahan pe expertise hai yahan pe hamare paas expertise hai we actually have a solution so why not start working for it so right. fast forward to february 2020 i had told that you know that please let me uh, you know join you let me start working with you simultaneously but he's yeah. like you know what get down with your graduation get down with you know your cfa level 1 at least and then you know you can hop on we can right. work on it simultaneously but it was just a concept right so luckily i think i would say that the lockdown came in as a favor i mean it came like a blessing to us because everything was shut we were all sitting at home and you know uh, i would like to say that i hate wasting time i love making my time productive every single day i need to do something you know which is useful which was you know which i can make the best use of my time so we really got an opportunity and the time because our graduation exams had postponed cfa exams had postponed so i had all the time in the world right. i would say you know at least two or three months so april so february we conceptualized created the business plan conceptualized on it but i did not come with a lot of buying and selling experience but dad did because you know 30 years of this industry expertise i mean it was i mean in industry experience is very valuable today so he explained you know what were the challenges did my market research created a product market fit basically a minimum uh, product market fit is basically a basic solution hota hai and buying and so this is the problem is a basic solution hai us pe humne business model banaya humne wo basic business model banaya and since we were at home so you know we could not really start operations so we took our time to do market research who were the competition who were uh, you know what was what were the other competitors doing and how can we differentiate ourselves from them you know towards our customers how can how can our offerings be better you know towards our customers so that we can make their life easier so i think 3 uh, to 4 months went into uh, you know um, and are you a market research study what was the trill problem how big is the market you know actually is there really a need or is it just like a simple temporary this thing to to identify that i think uh april may june july went in all of that 
covid started you know we started coming and then i think yes. september 2020 was when we started and launched our first showroom with our first uh, you know this thing and uh, yeah and i remember that in the first month itself with that should i could say that you know we already had our first 100 customers Wonderful. because you know whenever you start you always start with you know your first 10 customers we aa jaye na bahut badi baat hai because you yes. know it is very difficult to get your first 10 customers as well i mean that's the best source of revenue of customers and your first 10 aapko actually validation milega ki ha there is actually a need out there in the market and then we started getting feedback continuously ki ye problems hai wo problems hai and mm-hmm. then we started but you know, we were completely physical and we'd already started working on our app and website and of course you know moving forward today we're still on a website right now because we realized that uh, you know ki on the front end customers ke liye you know buying and selling is enough but peeche jo operations hai jo challenges hai on the ground hai because you know it's a second hand two wheeler to aap quality right. assurance kaise karoge aap workshop mein aapki har gaadi refurbish acche se ho rahi hai ya nahi quality control ho raha hai ya nahi wo trust build kar pa rahe hai ya nahi customers kya keh rahe hai wo pura feedback lete lete system set karte karte you know we uh, you know we came forward and you know from the first 100 customers to in a year we touched our one first thousand customers after 18 months we know we crossed 2000 customers and you know so we're we're going on an exponential growth but uh, touch wood you know there has been a lot of learnings and validation and uh, the best way you know to start validating our concept was that you know we started going to pitches these business plan competitions because you know obviously you know no investor or no you know we needed to get validated ki theek hai customers to keh rahe hain but agar hame is business ko scale karna hai to hum kaise karenge and scalability you know none of us had the experience so how do we connect with the right kind of people who would help us you know who would give us those uh, industry feedback ki ha this model business right. model is scalable kya आप ये बिजनेस को एक अलग लेवल एक इंडिया लेवल एक सिटी के बाहर स्टेट लेवल यू नो सिटी लेवल या इंडिया लेवल पे आप लेके जा सकते हो नहीं सो यू नो दैट रिक्वायर्स अनदर लेवल ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज मेंटरशिप सो हाउ डू वी गेट दैट सो दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई यू नो वी स्टार्टेड गोइंग for these business plan competitions because you know for example i remember iid bombay eureka was one you know con pitch was one was another nqb angel network business plan competition was the third so there were a lot of business plan competitions that we participated in and i i think our biggest breakthrough was of course you know the iid bombay one before that also we had applied but you know it was we had our own flaws in our business model so you know we used to keep working on that so when we started uh, pitching on these business plan competitions we started getting real feedback from industry experts you know ki um we didn't even know ki financial projections kaise banate we didn't even know ki basic cheez you know ki basic terminologies hoti na hum itne mein khareedte the hamara cost price ho gaya hum itne mein bechte the to selling price ho gaya uske differences mein gross margin kya hota hai profit right, margin right. kya hota hai yes. aap financial models kaise build karte ho aap accounting kaise set karte ho mm-hmm. and you know kya aap existing softwares use kar sakte ho kya aap uh, you know khud ke khud ke you know innovative customized solutions banaoge when it comes to tech aap marketing kaise karoge aap wo trust kaise build karoge aap aapka brand value kaise banaoge then uske sath sath uh, how how are you going to disrupt this market because if humne ek basic concept to create kar diya tha but abhi hame next level jaane ke liye hame ek disruptive hona padega scalability right. lani padegi kyunki yaar bahut sare competitions aa jayenge to fir aap unse kaise stand out karoge so these were a lot of questions that they started asking us and we were of course you know we were clueless we were like, okay this is you know this is something that we need to start working on so right. once we started getting exposed to all these questions that is where you know we started actually our true learning as entrepreneurs began because hum already operations and sales to kar rahe the but uske sath sath abhi next level pe likhe jaane ke liye how would you know we have to tackle these core problems and more importantly budgeting kaise karoge aap lean kaise karoge aap resources agar aap limited resources hai ठीक है आपको इतने से पैसे तो उसको मैक्सिमाइज कैसे करोगे एफिशिएंसी कैसे बढ़ाओगे प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी कैसे देखोगे कस्टमर्स और एक्वायर कैसे करोगे तो ऐसे बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस थे यू नो दैट वी हैव टू लर्न वी हैव टू गो बैक गो एंड स्टडी ऑनलाइन वी हैव टू लर्न दिस कांसेप्ट्स एंड यू नो यू नो सो आई मीन देन यू नो आफ्टर 18 मंथ्स दैट आई कैन यू नो सफिशिएंटली से दैट एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग ऑफ यू नो मेकिंग सेल्स एंड रेवेन्यू of innovation of uh, you know uh, making sure that you are giving value to your customers to uh, you know disrupting technology i mean not just technology but disruptive solutions you yeah. know and uh, you know that scaling it and you know basically in the end providing value so this is what i would say is a combination of entrepreneurship jo i would say 18 months 19 months ke experience ke baad hame aaj aaya hai 
and uh, because of these um, uh, you know competitions and everything we started meeting a lot of uh, big people in the industry who would start connecting us to you know right kind of people and what happens right. is that when you get into the entrepreneurship in, you know journey mm-hmm. so you know all the entrepreneurs out there who are listening it's very important to find the right kind of mentor it is very important to find the right kind of team that you yeah. can trust जो आपके बिजनेस के लिए सफिशियंट और जो आपकी वैल्यूज जैसे आप सोचते हो आपको ऐसे आपकी कंपनी रन करनी है आपको ऐसे सोल्यूशन देने हैं आपकी टीम आपके मेंटर्स भी वैसा ही सोचने चाहिए सो इट्स बेसिकली लाइक it's 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 like it's more important than i would say a marriage i would say it's that mm-hmm. this thing you know you need to see compatibility among your team members and you know with the right kind of team with the right kind of support with the right kind of encouragement and most importantly not giving up बिकॉज लेट मी टेल यू ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप में एवरी सिंगल डे आपको ऐसे अनफोर्सिन चैलेंजेस आएंगे कि मतलब आप सोचो कि यार कहाँ घुस गए हम इट्स लिटरली लाइक दैट बट बट दी आई मीन एटी परसेंट ऑफ द बैटल यू विन इज बाई नॉट गिविंग अप इज आई वुड से रीजन यू नो एंड वी हैव लाइक मोर देन I think billions of opportunities to give up because my God, and I mean we had to even face biases, especially me and my sister. यार तुम छोटी लड़कियाँ and then it's true. यार तुम क्या गाड़ियाँ बेचोगे it's literally like that we have to even overcome that we have to prove it not to not only to our own people but to prove it to the world that you know yeah we are actually building something you know we're willing to learn and you know we're willing to put our aside our um, these uh, i would say inhibitions aside and say that yaar hum ladkiyan to kar sakte aur karenge and today we are dominating we are exactly. dominating in a male driven environment and people respect that and people are i mean the i mean the proof is in my uh, you know in the game and the way you know hamare customers validate karenge hamare you know mentors and advisors validate karenge wahan pe you know we have our own you know people who are validating that so this is i think uh, you know this is how i think two wheeler started you know and uh, we are very famously also known as the father daughter trio working and disrupting the you know the auto tech uh, exactly. industry and i love that I think I love that. I think um, especially when you know that co-founders, आपके खुद के of course families से है, so एक अलग ही level का trust होता है, you know, and having trust among co-founders is very important. Someone that you can fall back on because there are going to be days which are going to be so difficult, you know, that आपको शायद बैठ से उठने का भी मन नहीं करेगा. But these are the people who are going to come, give you a really nice tight hug, and remind you that you have that strength to get up and get to do, you know, get the job because you know this is the this thing yeah so yeah. so very well like starting from the vision of two wheeler to like what it actually like you know breaking the stigma driving towards but what i have researched about it as like the experience speaks as you said your father has been uh, experienced 30 years from last 30 years to this industry but like from you to the date joining this period it was uh, not like because we know that these two wheeler like industry was more conventional back then but yes. later on it was more of focusing on tech driven introducing yeah. through social medias and i have watched your marketing of the page and it's totally phenomenal so <laughs> thank what, you it makes me want to know that like what is the tech driven ideas that you started put on like i believe it's just from 2019 2020 that the use of yeah. social media and use of digital media started on before it was right. conventional if i'm right right so of course you know so uh especially due to covid uh india is already 5 to 7 years ahead in its digital disruption mm-hmm. uh covid has actually forced people to go online and i'm talking about see here, you and i we are comfortable with technology with mobiles but we don't come in the majority crowd majority crowd out there is the common man you know the common people i would say you know who are uh, we can say blue collar workers who are in the lower category who are not very comfortable you know using we are the young generation we can use it but what about the older generation so right. we saw a complete disruption in tech where people started using mobile phones applications started you know for example started ordering food at home or you know they started Uh, probably if you see blinket groceries ghar pe aa jati abhi because you know people don't want to step you know step out so there are these yeah. startups which had already revolutionized you know due to integration of google pay phone pay all these mobile banking systems you know and applications so people have become smarter people have become more comfortable at home and you know of course yaar agar teen hafte hote bolte ki logon ki habits teen hafte mein badalte yahan pe log 2 saal ghar pe the so you mm. know people had to adapt to this but you know that came as a 
boost for us because uh, what is going to happen today is any business that is not online that is not accessible that does not have a brand presence online whether it's your instagram social media facebook instagram for probably the younger generation facebook for all the you know oldies out there yeah. probably websites um agar aapko online presence nahi mila aap mujhe batao aaj hame if you and i you know my younger audience agar hame kuch nayi cheez khareedni hai if we don't find an instagram page we're not going to trust that brand why should yeah. we i mean kya brand because itne sare you know so i think this change is what has not only forced common people but has also forced businesses to go online because if businesses do not go online right mm-hmm. uh they are to die out if you do not have basic website or you know a digital presence out there ki agar aap phone se accessible nahi ho ki theek hai aaj mujhe two wheeler ko dhoondna hai agar main kahin pe bhi dhoondu but agar mujhe uska naam nahi dikha i am not going to trust that brand it's as simple as that the consumer right. shift hua hai but keeping in mind that indians dekhna chahte hain online but khareedenge aaj bhi touch and feel ke baad hi so right. you have to take these two things into consideration right. that people want to see that you're present online and from any when you're accessible from anywhere while if they're sitting at home but mm. at the same time they do have a physical you know touch and feel thing because as indian consumers i'm talking specifically about mainly indian consumers ki unko ek touch and feel ka hota hai especially agar used to wheelers ho yaar matlab aap used to wheel aaj use kar aap ek normal mobile phone bhi pehle itna sochte the ki yaar online kaise mangao but amazon changed that flipkart changed that so right. similarly aaj agar you know agar similarly maybe right now completely online nahi khareedenge but we are brands who are trying to build that kind of trust ki ha hum online to hai social media pe hai because and if you see our instagram you know to be or official right. um you it is not we are not just trying to sell or buy a bike aap wahan pe hamari bikes nahi dekhoge wahan pe hum mean marketing will you have a very unique business presence catered to our target audience jo dekhega hum instagram pe similarly agar aap linkedin pe jaoge ya aap hamari website pe jaoge so we have tried of course you know we're at a very initial stage bahut improvements karne hai abhi to humne is shuruaat ki hai but the point was that we are now accessible to them while sitting at home aaj koi kashmir mein baitha hai aaj koi uh, you know uh, uh, south india mein baitha hai koi kahi duniya mein kahi bhi baitha hai wo google pe jaake hame dhoond sakta hai it's as simple as that to like koi exist karta hai then more importantly for a business um aaj mujhe so for example now uh, i have stores in kharadi uh, so in pune we have uh, stores in three different extremely versatile areas kharadi wakad and rasta pet now uh, kharadi rast wakad are supposed to 24 25 kilometers away from each other so suppose you know first we start with only a kharadi branch but you know there were consumers in the wakad area which is 24 25 kilometers away who wanted to buy a bike but it was not easy for them to you know come to kharadi all the way just to look at a bike Right. okay because of photos we joke and all that what happened is we created our you know website very soon we'll be having an application virtual showroom experience ki aap ghar pe baithe wo puri gaadi ka experience le sakte ho not just that not just one bike you can browse through any kind of bikes so agar aapko suppose achhi lagi aap online booking karo aisa nahi hai na ki aapko sirf excuse me aisa nahi hai na ki aapko sirf खरीदनी है ऑनलाइन हम आपको बुकिंग का ऑप्शन देते हैं हम आपको शोरूम भी विजिट कर सकते हो इनफैक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ आर प्रेजेंस इन दोज एरिया वी कैन सेंड आर बाई वेहीकल टू योर एरिया विच इज क्लोजर टू यू टूडे बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजी हैज बीन इट सो ईजी फॉर अस टू कनेक्ट विद अ वास्टर बिगर ऑडियंस आउट देर actually right so uh, this was this is so not only that so customers ke liye aur convenience aa gaya ki yaar abhi hame udhar jaane ki zarurat nahi wo log hamare paas aa rahe hain so convenience ho gaya trust hoga ki yaar touch and feel ka bhi hai online bhi dikh raha hai touch and feel bhi mil raha hai quality achhi hai test drive bhi mil raha hai wo bhi ho gaya uske sath sath jo bhi paperwork hai hassle hai जो आरटीओ में जाना होता है you know transfer jo itna hassling hota tha hum wo sab free mein karwa ke dete hain You know, अगर आपको okay. गाड़ी बेचनी है गाड़ी खरीदनी है आपके घर पे बैठ के आपका पूरा काम हो जाएगा सो देन दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ कन्वीनियंस दैट टेक्नोलॉजी हैज ब्रॉट यू नो दैट नॉट ओनली टू द बिजनेस बट ऑल्सो मेनली टू द कस्टमर्स एंड यू नो देर सेविंग टाइम देर सेविंग मनी देर ब्रिंगिंग मोर कन्वीनियंस आज अगर आपको आपके घर पे गाड़ी अगर आपको आज आपकी आपकी टू व्हीलर बेचनी है तो आप घर पे बैठ के आप सिर्फ रजिस्टर कर सकते हो अपॉइंटमेंट डाल सकते हो हमारा कोई इंसान आपके घर आ जाएगा इंस्पेक्ट कर लेगा ट्वेंटी मिनट्स में पूरा ट्रांजेक्शन खत्म आपको निकलने yeah. की भी जरूरत नहीं है इट्स दैट कन्वीनियंट टुडे सो दैट इज दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बीइंग डिस्ट्रप्टेड वर्सेस एक फिजिकल ऑफलाइन स्टोर जो बोलता था यार सर अजय आप ही आ जाओ हम तो नहीं आ सकते यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट दिस इज द होल वैल्यू एंड इंपॉर्टेंस एंड टुमारो 
of technology aaj 10% bhali online hai 90% offline conversion hua but aage ja ke pretty sure 99% online ho jayega one percent maybe not right now maybe not in 3 years also 7 years 10 years it's happening yes. because there is a lot of disruption that is going on in the space so yeah right actually it makes sense and i uh, like you know i highly agree over the point that it led to the need of business that is increasing and that the point you talk about that is the stores so the, yes. i i am sure like uh, this year you opened one of your new stores in pune yes so congratulations yes, for did. that and thank you so much as well as like i want to know the experience that started which was the opening of first store so you know <laughs> how did the actual first confidence begin and then your expertise actually began because you know if if i talk about okay i know miss khyati now and she's been mm-hmm. into 19 months as you said and that actually does the talking yeah. so i want to know how did the confidence got built up and then how the expertise got built up let hmm. me know so i have a very funny story actually um so it was september so it was august 30th of 2020 when we were going to launch our first store so i remember two weeks before that only our father got covid two weeks no three weeks and i remember that it is a 5000 square feet showroom which could easily hold around 75 to 100 bikes but we only had 20 bikes in our stock and we were about to launch and we had already started declaring that abhi showroom ki opening hone hai what are we going to do that was not okay we did not have the expertise so it all started with that but you know coming overcoming that you know we somehow in the last few days we started stocking up because you know before we launch to the world to the public if you don't have bikes what are we going to sell it's as yeah. simple as that yeah but you know i remember that from april to september i think it was what 7 5 7 months i did not it did not hit me that we were doing this okay so i'm telling you this i think i was in an auto mode ki ha kar rahe hain kar rahe hain kar rahe hain kar rahe because ghar pe baith humne actually properly business shuru sell karna shuru nahi kiya tha so it was august 30th hamari i think we had started with our puja it was supposed to be our puja and i remember i had actually not told any of my friends totally only two friends of mine knew that i was coming up with a startup because i was the one those sort ki pehle karungi फिर ऑटोमेटिकली एक बार करके पूरी दुनिया को दिख ही जाएगा यू नो दैट पूरी दुनिया को दिख जाएगा दिस इज व्हाट वी डूइंग एंड यू नो बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली आई वाज वेरी स्केयर ऑफ द बायसेस आई वाज वेरी अफ्रेड दैट यू नो इफ समवन सेस समथिंग और डीमोटिवेट्स एंड आई डिड नॉट वांट दैट काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी एट दैट टाइम सो आई वाज वेरी क्वाइट अबाउट इट आई वाज लाइक एक बार पूजा हो जाएगी यू नो वी स्टार्ट विद दैट एंड देन आई ऑफिशियली अनाउंस यू नो टू माय फ्रेंड्स सर्कल फर्स्ट आई स्टार्ट विद माय फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली एंड देन यू आई विल गो इट अहेड Right. So um, August, I think it was August twenty ninth, and uh, next day was supposed to be our uh, showroom launch as well as the puja and everything. And no one had any idea, so I couldn't really go and speak to anyone. And it hit me that oh my god, I'm actually doing this. And uh, you know, yar kar lungi ani wala. You know, I'm being very honest, being very candid here. That I was, I think, what twenty two that time. I was twenty two that time, and twenty two, twenty three. Huh. so but i was like what am i going to do i have never really bought a i mean i had started the practice of buying and selling on my own personally because i had to get the experience mm-hmm. of course you know we have a team of experts doing it out there but you know as of course the founder it was important for me to understand the user journey as well right. so i was like i had started but it had still not hit me and before the launch and before releasing it to the world i remember having a very massive breakdown saying what am i even doing with my life how am i going to do it because you know i really felt that i did not know anything about it but you know luckily you know because of the team because of my family support you know as that khadi ho jayega hum log figure out kar lenge we're together in this so i was like you know what i'm just going to take it one day at a time tomorrow let's start with starting it we'll see how to get the first 10 customers you know i am like yaar first panch che customers bhi aa jaye walk ins aa jaye log puchne lage brand banne lage to you know uh, ho jayega and uh, yeah i remember that uh, on the first day i went for a puja and on my instagram i put up a status to new beginnings and you know i think okay. i was in a traditional outfit and i went off time and the funny part is that people it is i don't know whether it's fortunate unfortunate i wouldn't i don't know what how to say it, but people start thinking that i was probably getting engaged okay. and my instagram kind of blew up with all the bombardment of messages because remember i hadn't told anyone that i was starting a new initiative so obviously i don't know i was kind of I I don't know how to feel about it, but people actually thought that I was getting engaged, and you know, no, no, it, it, I don't think it it crossed anyone's mind that I probably might be starting, and it was it is okay. I mean, you know, I was just out of graduation, I was completely gone away from social media, everything, and you know, people were like, "What is she doing now?" Mm-hmm. 
but i remember going off uh, instagram i mean i switched off start working on my puja setup showroom the entire day went on that and i remember that you know my cousins friends start calling up my father because i was not picking up and they like is kya thing getting gates so like no and then you know i had to officially launch mm-hmm. because i had told two to three of my friends not to say it yet that you know i have started uh, my own company because you know how friends want to you know they want to share i'm very yeah. grateful for that by the way so yeah and then when i opened my instagram so many people were like and then i had to officially launch in that day to guys i am actually starting my own company no doubt you know I had a lot of people who were very who were very happy for me touch wood and uh, you know but it was very funny and i think it also raises this concern that you know at a 23 or 24 year people i think women are more expected to get married or engaged mm-hmm. rather than starting their own businesses so i think i was a little upset also about it but you know what i was breaking barriers so i was like you know what i'm That's changing what people's minds i'm changing people's perspectives you know what i'm not getting in gear i'm actually a marwari 23 24 year old girl who is starting yeah. her own business her own startup so this is one of the conventions that you know on the first day we broke and that is the kind of confidence that i think that was the kick that i needed to show it to the world that to show it to prove it to you know the community and the society out there that it is important that you know especially women coming in entrepreneurship because no the first thing is not that they want to get married there are women who have dreams who want to run their own companies right. so many out there they're just not getting the right kind of probably a platform or probably a an opportunity to do that so yeah so i hope that probably this example it inspires people uh, you know to not just judge instantly actually see what the other person is doing and you know and yeah so i think we had a puja cleared out all the doubts queries that no i'm not getting married i'm actually starting my own company here of mm-hmm. course you know people were very proud i was also very afraid of what how how will my friend circle how will my family how will my loved ones perceive right you know ki um खुद का बिजनेस करिए आप जॉब क्यों नहीं कर रहे हो ऑल ऑफ दैट लकी यू नो वेरी ग्रेटफुल दैट आई हैव वेरी सपोर्ट ऑफ पेरेंट्स एज वेल सो दे लाइक यू नो व्हाट यू वांट टू टेक रिस्क गो टेक रिस्क बट या एंड आई हैव बीन वेरी फॉर्चूनेट फॉर दैट सो या आई थिंक आई गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ लव वी गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ लव अ लॉट ऑफ सपोर्ट पीपल I mean, पीपल दैट आई नेवर इवन इमेजिन कुड मैसेज एंड टेल मी दे एक्चुअली डिड दैट यू नो व्हाट ख्याति आई थिंक you're really inspiring and you know you and your team at the sage are actually out there not looking for jobs but actually creating jobs creating your own yeah. startup and obviously you know we had to prove but the first initial support and love really really gave me the confidence and then fast forward in the first month we had our first 100 customers and it was a very i remember it was a very beautiful feeling you know mm-hmm. and uh, yeah and then it was just like it was on onwards and upwards of course uh, in 2021 we had our own challenges because of the second lockdown and then uh, we were uh, we had a few other operational challenges we had to figure out the team there were a few important team members who were leaving so you know and more importantly setting up the business from scratch because everything was chaos and mm-hmm. chaos like actually system set karna was a very big uh, you know this thing and confidence i think came was i just kept reminding myself that uh, you know ages in fact not just me i think very grateful that i met people mentors networking people who were not you know judging you but they were actually very encouraging you know one thing i want to tell everyone that the entrepreneurship world is actually a very supportive community especially and even if you're failing so if you suppose fail okay or if you break down or something like that but if you decide that the next day you're going to get back up and going to still keep trying i promise you there is a world out there that is ready to support you and that is the kind of world and the love and the support that i received from this community the startup community because there were so many times that i wanted to give up i remember that i think in 12 months i had more than 16 breakdowns and burnouts it was that difficult i remember i was crying every two weeks or probably every week i'm like kya hone wala of course you know under say not to the right. world but you know inside to myself because yeah. you know of course you know you cannot just cry out like that you cannot get too emotional no you cannot you have to be practical you have to be strong especially for your team but you know when you know when you're alone in your room you do have those breakdowns and your self yeah. the best part is people actually appreciate mental health a lot and especially in entrepreneurship it is extremely important to have a work life balance of course you have to put in more number of hours maybe you'll have to sleep less but once in a while you're allowed to give yourself a break you do not have to be too hard on yourself and mm. probably along with that make sure that physical workout mental workout you're doing something that you love and enjoy it's important and i think it was all a combination of 
a lot of mental breakdowns a lot of burnouts a lot of love and support a lot of um i think every single day just getting back up because you love you're so passionate that you're building something you know out there and not everybody is that lucky to get this opportunity i think that one voice in my head you know helped me get up every day and go back to work like no matter how horrible you know it can you know because days are bad so yeah and that is i think that is where i can say that today from where i was one year ago i am like i think i have had like a complete 100% growth 100% of course you know have a long way to go I probably must be just 1% out there but according to me i'm way stronger more content more experienced and i think my problem solving capabilities my critical thinking capabilities my uh, level my patience especially has increased quite a lot so it comes with experience it is not going to happen in one day but yeah. uh, you know it will happen exactly so, yeah, i think uh, yeah yeah it surely does i mean the reason behind asking you this question was you know me myself being 18 and these doubts these emotions these you know breakdowns and as this is the point where i start and then again you, you talked about burnouts right then again you are elder let me stop it. you yeah. know what let me just tell you that at the age of 18 having your own podcast and being willing to ask the these kind of questions is in itself a very very good sign of growth and entrepreneurial spirit you're doing a fantastic job i cannot believe that i'm speaking to like an 18 year old because the way you're asking the kind of questions that you're asking right i mean you know the ability to ask the right kind of questions is also a very important skill in entrepreneurship being that yeah. aware about it the problems out there so i have to give it to you you're doing a fantastic job thanks a lot i mean so i appreciate you should, you should be you should give yourself a pat uh and you know just uh, relax and i think you're already on the right path i mean 18 having a podcast which you started i think what you were 17 i mean mm-hmm. by the time you are my age you will be like what ranveer alu uh, you know it's, ah, it's okay <laughs> it's, it's, it's... so yeah um as we were talking uh, actually that was the you know that led of the question because it becomes so curious that after 3 4 years how do i see myself or what is it actually resulting in even though if i have just started it's been one year but then again the thing remains in your head right so that's why it's better to ask an elder one that how is it actually changing herself himself so that makes me you know some kind of getting more positive vibes in to start off and yeah i'm actually really pumped up right now after hearing i'm so thing. glad i'm really really glad you tell me you know what are your top 3 challenges let's just take your example because you're like the perfect audience you know you're the perfect example what are the top 3 challenges that you face and maybe i can help you with that what what is it that you worry about Actually, what are you the most worried about um the first thing which was um i had this question later on in the podcast but yeah um, there is this thing that people have uh, like uh, as you know shark tank just got introduced this year and then again people begin with like you know in academics to yaar kuch itna hai nahi like you know we can just focus on focus on our co curricular activities on our skills and that actually leads to your you know a different kind of venture so people yeah. believe more in it than you know just pursuing your academics so at one single point you know you become like dropping out or sometimes you know ki yaar corporate mein jao ya fir internship chalu kar do ya fir side by side ye podcast bhi karu ye marketing bhi karu mm-hmm. so what mm-hmm. i felt was ki you know abhi just mera first year chalu hai and then yaar again should should i start doing internships you know preparing for this job and all stuff or i should do my i do social media marketing so you know i should yeah. focus on these stuff or because you know there's this kind of balance and we get confused yeah and what if you do everything i am doing it currently so that's why it makes me question you <laughs> correct so okay i'm really glad that you asked this question because when i was 18 i had my first startup this is my third startup by the way okay uh, i had the same questions and so you know what i did i was like so i'll tell you a little bit uh, maybe this will help uh 18 i was 18 i remember uh, i had only one condition i knew that um i didn't want to do engineering i think first two to three months but i am not discouraging anyone here from doing engineering i would just say that probably i was not the best suited for that there mm-hmm. are people out there brilliant at you know their fields and i think engineering in its streams is brilliant if applied properly 
okay but i realized that that was not my cup of tea but mm -hmm. you know of course i had to uh, you know i came from a family i do come from a family where having a degree is still important and i respect that from my parents because you know they have their own inhibitions Right. but uh, you know i am not happy what do i do you know what if i feel that i'm not making the best use of my time you know what if i say that you know maybe engineering or maybe just studying is not enough maybe mm -hmm. i want to put myself out there maybe i want to be prepared for the world which a lot of not just me and you but there are a lot of 18 year old 19 year old 20 21 year old that i am mentoring you know they mm -hmm. all have these same kind of questions all i would say is this is the best time to explore don't just do one thing and get stuck stay stuck up of course you know if you think that this is really your calling and if you're truly happy with it then you're truly lucky that you know you found it at such an early stage but majority of the people they do not get their calling that easily and such a, at such a soon place so i'll give you an example my younger brother who is uh, you know who we just who's just 19 who just gave got done with his 12th he got into bj medical college that children i'm grateful for that okay yeah. and he was only 14 years old i think ninth standard and he knew what he wanted to do and that too he wanted to become a doctor and in fact there is no doctor in the family but he knew it was his calling whereas i'm an engineer there are a lot of engineers but i come from a business family but at the age of 23 i found out what i wanted to do with my life right. so my point being that you're not sure that you're not sure what you want to do but what i would say is do not stick yourself to one thing i would suggest go do everything most importantly uh do work work on you know there are a few skill sets which i would like to tell everybody that they must focus on irrespective of what background they come from irrespective sure. of whether med whether they are even medical students lawyer students you know law students engineering students business students any of that art science anything mm -hmm. it is very important to have extremely good communication skills and networking skills right. and that is the reason why i tell every mentee of mine whether they come from engineering whether they come from law whether they even come from medicine to mm -hmm. go and do 3 to 6 months of sales sell anything but do that sales people look down upon they think that yaar is sales kya karoge let me tell you there is a big stigma against sales but i would just suggest if you really want to understand what the other person's problem is if you really want to learn how to build relations and build connections with people you need to understand what is it that they uh you know uh, what are the challenges that they have what do this what is it that they value and how do you come to know that when you actually understand the other person how do you understand the other person when you actually talk to them sales yeah. is one of the best skills to understand what the problem what the other person what are the challenges that the other person is facing right. how do you bring value to them okay and how are your products and offerings actually helping them and with that not only that it helps you with your speaking skills communication skills it builds your confidence and most importantly you learn the value of providing value to other mm. people which is very important in communication networking and building relationships and let me tell you this आप अभी ग्रेजुएशन कर लोगे आप 100 परसेंट अटेंडेंस कर लोगे आप करो बट उसके साथ साथ इफ टुमोरो यू वॉन्ट टू गो हाई इन योर कल राइट want to be able to talk and you know stand up for yourself so this is the first critical thing that i would suggest everybody do uh the second thing is it is important to have critical thinking problem solving skills and yeah. how do you learn that is when you go out there and do every kind of internships and actually solve real problems okay internships is not the only way i would say build projects ab jo bhi learn kar rahe ho agar aap usko practically apply nahi kar sakte matlab technically you're not really learning theoretical learning is outdated it right. is not enough yeah and you know agar aap apply nahi kar sakte ho to there is no point so go do practicals build projects try identifying problems and then try finding out solutions problem solving skills is actually a solution oriented skill set agar aap yeah. problems identify kar sakte ho to aap solutions build kar sakte ho and building solutions and building solutions can be through any way either you can code or you can probably create a team or you can probably 
uh, I don't know, build a product, innovate, anything, anything. Okay, but right. problem. If you identify, if you solve it, you know that it's a practical application skill. Critical thinking, on the spot thinking. These are the skill sets that no matter what you do in the future, even if robots or you know technology comes in full force, these are the skill sets that you that you know cannot be replaced right. by any machine. No matter what innovation is there, networking tomorrow, building relations, all these. You know, um, intangible skill sets are something that is always going to be unique to human beings. And I'm talking long term because yeah. it, it is happening. Automation is happening very fast, right? Yeah. Other than that, uh, I would encourage everyone, padhai karni hai, it is important. Agar aap seek rahe please focus on your education. But at the same time, make sure that you guys are doing some kind of project internship or... Uh, Events, if you to organize events, you volunteering, kar sakte ho, but make sure that you are out there, you know, applying your skill sets in some form or another. And it's not compulsory that you need to do it in your listing. I was the training placement representative from okay. my college and I was in the department. I fought with my faculty to say that if you have internships, hai, please don't limit them to technical internships. It is important to have non-technical internships, which right. will help you with your soft skills as well. You know, yeah. and because it, it worked out for me and you can see, I can confidently speak to you today. Yeah. I can literally do that. And this is how it helped. So sales, networking, problem solving, critical thinking, um, industrial exposure and start your own thing. Let it fail. Doesn't matter. I have had yes. three to four things, my own initiatives fail. I've been humiliated publicly. Everything has happened. I've even learned how to sit alone for six months and eat when nobody was ready to talk to me. I've gone through all of that. But it's okay as long as you get up and as long as if you have the will and the power to do it, you do it. Yeah. And you have to be courageous. Yes. Just just jump in. If you find an opportunity, right? Please, I would say, agar opportunity milti hai, grab it. Nahi aata, doesn't matter. Kudo, fir terna seek jana. Terna seek jauge, I promise you. Ho jayega. But right. just jump. Don't let go of opportunities. Like, for example, you. Lockdown tha. You wanted to start a podcast. You had the time. You did it. Look where you are today. You're talking exactly. to like the, I mean, you're talking to some really cool people. I mean, I would like to say that I'm cool as well, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> no, but you know, I'm, I'm pretty actually... sure that you have other creators out there, you know, builders out there who are doing these life changing things. Go out for branches, go talk to like minded people. And yes, very important, which I think really at your age group. It is extremely important. I cannot stress enough to have the right side circle of friends. Mm. You can do all the fun. You can do all the musty. You can study all as much as you want. But the people that you surround yourself with, remember, you are a combination of the six people that you hang out with. You're an average of the six people that you hang out with. Yes. So if six people are partying. You're going to be a party person. If six people are completely studious okay like you're studying you're going to be that if you are around six people who are the kindest and the most ambitious driven people who are actually putting it out there you'll become that it right. is the truth i have been touched i have also been very grateful that i've surrounded myself with good like-minded people and that is where we are because mm. these guys are actually the ones who bring you good energy you cannot do everything alone you need a very good strong support system so please choose your friends carefully Please be around good people. Please be around kind people. Please be the kind, ambitious, uh, you know, good people that you want to be for other people as well. So I would, I would, I would say that. Just be very careful about the kind of environment you're surrounded yourself with. You're That's surrounding yourself with. Sorry. It's okay. So definitely it does. I mean, I believe what path I'm going through is full of experiment, as you said. But yeah, luckily, very. luckily in 2020, I had this opportunity to, you know diversify myself as much as I can and try out different things. So at, at some point I am finding some clarity for myself as well. So that brings the thing. And yes, I actually, the points you said, these are relatable to me and I am finding it at some point of time in my life and surely. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, and to add to that, you want to experiment, experiment fast. If you fail, fail quickly and move on to the next project. You don't have to be emotionally attached. Okay, mm -hmm. I was not mostly seen in business and especially in entrepreneurship, you cannot be very emotionally attached to your product. Okay, mm -hmm. most of the times it fails or it doesn't work out. You try, you experiment, you learn. And if you think that you are not learning more out of it, move on. 
and build more. Complete a project. I'm not saying leave a project incomplete. Complete a project, get the maximum learning that is out there. And if you think you can take it to another level, do that. But if you think that is gaya chapter khatam, chapter jaldi se ban karo, move on to the next chapter. Right. World is fast, experiment, and you know, worst case, you don't know what you want to do. Best case, you know what you don't want to do. Yeah. That actually you got it. Yes, yes, I have. Worst case, you know what you don't know. I mean, yeah. you, you know what you don't want. I mean, uh, worst case scenario, you still don't know what you want to do. But best hmm. case scenario, you know what you don't want, don't to, want do. to do. Because you have to do it. You have to try it. You have to regret it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Right. Actually. You know, you're getting the point, right? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. And you know, the point you talked about is uh, mentoring people and you yourself being a mentee at a point. Yeah. So I want to know that uh, as I saw your profile, that makes that you are more, uh, you know, enthusiastic at uh, teaching soft skills as a mentor. That mentoring a kind of passion you have a certain kind of liking other than the startup and working on entrepreneurship. I love sharing my experiences and knowledge if it can help someone. Hmm. And I love mentoring. I love helping people. I love uh, if if my experiences can help the other person even avoid a single mistake that I did and actually improve their life. And even if it can inspire them to do something, I am more than happy to do that. I mean, it's just, it, it's, I have always been like that. I mean, since I was 18, I have, because I have younger siblings. So I have already been in the habit of, you know, taking care of them, mentoring them, you know, being protective about them, helping them, guiding them. So right. it has always come naturally to me. But uh, there was this very uh, important special learning that I had learned, learned from one of my mentors that um, you have truly learned when you learn something, okay, you have 30% learning, kar li. say 33, one third learning, apne kar li. But mm-hmm. you applied that apply kiya, to apki wapas one third learning. Ho bhi. Matlab, two thirds learning apki ho But actually, you have full learning. When you learn, you apply it, you apply it, but actually, you can learn it. Then you have true learning. Hoti hai. Right. So I would tell everyone, if you are learning something, you mm-hmm. have only truly learned when you can apply that and at the same time, forward that knowledge and learning to someone else. And it is right. very important that you share your knowledge and experiences. Ab jo seekte ho, ab pass on karo. Achha karun bhi hai. It can actually help people. And you won't realize, but what if you make someone's day? What if you actually solve a life crisis problem for someone just by sharing this one particular knowledge? You don't know anything, but why not? Right. Because aapko bhi kahi se to information mili hai, right? So it's yeah. important. I think it is our duty that we should pass forward, you know, forward our knowledge. I mean, our knowledge, our experiences. Yeah. Makes sense actually. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I think this is the principle that I have been living by. I think mm-hmm. it's working out well. I learned, I taught an NGO of underprivileged students for a year as well. Okay. So, I was teaching, apply, and I used to forward it. That is the time when you know I can never forget the concepts. Similarly, life experiences may also, when I was my training placement representative, I had a lot of mentees who were trying to come. I was a part of a lot of initiatives where, you know, people wanted me to guide them. And I was like, take no problem. I'm always there, you know, to help other people. In fact, very recently, I started this one initiative, another initiative, where uh, age group, for the age group of 18 to 32, all the creators, entrepreneurs, aspirants, like, you know, currently it's focused on only female women entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Uh, they all come together and we meet for monthly brunches. So I host okay. one brunch once a month. You know, 17 to 20 people. I had just had my first successful one last month. I mean, this month only, 5th of March. But next month in April also, what we're going to do is we bring together all these women entrepreneurs. They talk, we have these ice-breaking sessions. They connect, they tell each other how can they help each other. They ask each other, you know, what do they, what is it that they need in help? You right. know, and then they impart, they collaborate, they share their knowledge, they connect people with each other. So this is another networking event where, you know, people have started adding and collaborating. And competition says so other collaboration is something that really works out in today's world. Let me yeah, add to that. I agree. So if all, so if everybody come, imagine the most like-minded, ambitious, entrepreneurial people 
एंड लेट मी टेल यू दिस हाउ ऑन्ट्रप्रनोर बनने के लिए यू डोंट नीड टू हैव अ स्टार्टअप you hmm. can work in an organization if you're solving a problem if you're innovating if you're building a product which right. is you know actually solving a problem you're still an entrepreneur so for yeah. all the entrepreneurial mindsets that are out there whether they're creators students aspirants you know leadership in some big firms they all come together they share their network they collaborate and they add value into each other's lives and businesses so this is the whole concept of the initiative and uh, yeah and this is and and i i can see amazing collaborations happening already so yeah. i mean if you can help other businesses then why not right and actually this whole kind of idea you talked about holding a brunch once a month that's actually fascinating you know to know about it thank uh, you yeah so and this is the last question of mine personally yeah. um as there are many you know sort of births of various creators not only social media but as well as this uh, Uh, normal media like through films and all everybody is trying to become a kind of creator in every niche so yeah. i want to ask you is that what is that kind of differentiation one should have as a individual or as a team as you yourself leading a startup is kind of getting differentiating standing out trying to stand out so what as an individual i should do that i should stand out or differentiate myself okay. so uh, i would say number one whenever you start something first identify a problem identify that there is actually a need for it whatever you are because you will be wasting you will be spending and investing a lot of time and commitment into this product influence whether whether you want to start your own influencer page whether you want to do you know something find out that there is a need you do not just want to be a simple i would say take yeah, people enjoy becoming you know dancing videos and all that they just start you know it starts organically but okay you start for fun usually but then after a certain point of time you see that especially in the creators community there is a lot of following and you know a lot of it you know competition that is breeding because you know you get ad budgets you get ad uh, endorsements you get all of that right right i would suggest do market research see who is actually out there find idols Mm-hmm. find see what are they doing differently why is it working out for them and why is it not working out for other people how are they differentiating themselves what is it that they provide to their audience firstly you need to even understand who who is the right target audience that you are doing you cannot target everyone it is impossible okay, okay. you have to first identify who is the target audience you want to uh focus on what is it that the main what is it that they want to see what is it that they want what is the value that you need to bring to them you need to identify that then you have to create your i don't know content or product or service or marketing solutions in such a way that it helps them it helps in that focus group you can forget you can fig- you can then figure out your niche then in that particular you know suppose you've identified what you want to do find out idols find out successful people and trust me there is always someone out there who's done it you will right. find it go online do your thorough market research um see what are they doing differently i've already repeated that and uh, then try you know trial and error it's all going to be about trial and error until unless you don't figure out what is your niche until unless you don't figure out what works out for you i would say you have to keep trying and this trying is not just for days or weeks this means you might have to give 12 to 18 months to 24 months right. i mean if you talk about just instagram influencers i mean our first reel hit 1.1 million views after i think 12 months yeah 12 months and because you know uh, for example instagram builds that kind of algorithm so that is on the social media front on the okay. product front if to ab mujhe ek cheez batao right ki agar aapko uh, aap amazon se okay so for example aap mujhse kharidoge ya mujhse compa- mere competitors se kharidoge agar aapko koi differentiator nahi mila suppose usme aapko saste mein mila yahan pe zyada expensive mil raha hai aap usually pehle sabse pehle cheez wahi se kharidoge wo saste mein mil raha hai but agar aapko pata hai ki hamara brand presence hamare hmm. suppose bahut saare logon ne hamara positive feedback diya hai thoda hum expensive hai but you know hame zyada positive feedback diye hum zyada services offer kare hum zyada trust build kare hum zyada ek proper company hai you yeah. know so then you will be drawn more to me so it's about your offerings it's about your uh, unique value proposition Right. uh and uh, you know your usp your unique sign prop basically the same thing so it is important that you build a moat something that is that you don't become irreplaceable and that is one of the biggest challenges that every startup has to face why will i come to you why will i not go to the other person so you have to identify that 
and that is the reason why i say market research is important and then it's just about trial and error you have to keep trying oh by the way you cannot get emotionally attached you mm. have to be open to change you have to learn unlearn relearn it is important it's a very important skill you cannot have an old mindset you have to keep growing you have to keep be agile ki matlab jitne bhi changes honge aapko fatafat change karna padega if it's not working out for you pivot change ye try karo ye try karo so they say you want to fail fail fast and then move on that's what i said about the projects as well right so experiment try work out kar i don't think too much move on you have to be very quick you have to be very agile towards it so i think these are the common this thing and yes collaborate help each other it's very important if artists come together and collaborate they can actually bring a lot of value i think i would always go collaboration over competition always that's my model i would rather collaborate and figure out a way to collaborate so that it can mutually benefit everyone rather than compete and bring and yes very important thing it's just about a change in the mindset instead of thinking ke main is competition ko crush kaise kar sakta hu aisa soch to ki main apne aap ko better kaise bana sakta hu hmm. right i don't know if you will understand the change in mindset rather than thinking yaar mujhe isko niche dabana hai ye nahi hmm. sochna hai you have to think ki main abhi aa hu to main isse better kaise ho sakta hu yes so the point the reason that i'm saying is the energy is universe you know energy mindset is very important if you focus on the positive aspect positive things will happen if you think about crushing someone crushing is a negative so negative things will start happening and law of attraction is real i mean yeah. i don't know uh, how many of you will be aware but law of yeah, attraction if you guys can do read up please please do read up on it be grateful have gratitude practice um uh, uh you know uh be humble and law of attraction is real trust me it works out and yes to the young kids please create vision boards whatever you want the kind of life you want to live photographs print karo apne sab jagah kar do aapko jo chahiye life mein na sachhi bata rahi hu photographs lo stick it on your walls that you know that you're automatically living like this of course you have to put in the hard work and all but ab jaise the moment you start seeing those photographs every single day your hmm. mind starts you know creating building opportunities for you the moment aapko yeah. opportunities come because you're already inspired and encouraged to do it you'll automatically grab it and then you automatically you know put your hard work to achieve that right so it all falls into place so please focus on vision boards focus on law of attraction focus on being grateful gratitude practice is important be kind collaborate help each other and you know i think this is something that really helps and give good energy people want good people in their life surely i mean taking note of these as well as i'm sure like by the end of the podcast once it releases there are many number of takeaways that is coming ahead so firstly i want to thank you khati i want to thank you for thank coming thank you really so, i mean i really appreciate i have enjoyed this conversation i didn't realize you know i was just it just it just feels good to talk you know share my experience i really hope that you know even if it helps one person and if anybody wants to connect with me if you think that there is anyone who i can probably help even if it's you if you ever need me please i'm just like a call away i'm on linkedin i'm very accessible you know and you know i, I would love to help surely surely thank you i'll be also adding thank your you handles so in the description of the podcast so surely thank okay. you so khyati and i'm checking thank out for so today's much. episode thank you yes thank you so much take care thank you bye bye